Hey, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can use quick sort in Java to sort uh, an array. So let me just point you to the Wikipedia so you can kind of refer to this as to how the algorithm works in general. But the concept is fairly straightforward. What you want to do is pick an element which is called the pivot and you partition an array into essentially uh, such a way that the pivot element, anything to the left of the pivot is going to be less than the pivot and anything onto the right of the pivot is greater than equal to the right of the pivot. It basically means the pivot is in its correct position. And then you essentially apply this rec uh, rule recursively. And when you get to an array of zero, uh, one element, then obviously it's all sorted. So let me just kind of show you in uh, how you would code this algorithm and how this would behave. So <coughs> let's say we have an array of these six elements and we arbitrarily end up picking pivot as the last element. So in this case, it would be six. So if you think about it, if you were to sort this array so that the six would be in a position where it's called the final place, it would be essentially be in on this position six. And the <coughs> you arrive at this as say, you look at 10 and 6, so 10 is greater than 6, so you end up swapping it with 3, and then the swap positions becomes at this point. So that's why you end up getting a 3 here. Then you look at 10, and 10 is greater than 6, so you still have to swap. So you'll probably still end up swapping 9 and 10, so 9 would be here, 10 uh, would be here. Then same thing will be 10 and 25, you'll swap again, and then you will uh, do with 25 and 59, and then it comes to 2. 2 is the position where you have to swap again with whatever you had here. In this case, it was 10. So that's why you have 2 and 10 kind of swapped. And these things actually uh, in the middle would need to be stopped. So if you look at it, 6 is the final place of this pivot element and everything else on this less than 6 and greater than 6. So if you look at the subarray, it's going to sort. The pivot position is going to be this and 2 or 3 is going to be sorted. And similarly here, if you do the nine is going to be here this way, and then 10 and 25, and you can kind of follow through in its own. So what I've done is, uh, let me just kind of show you how the algorithm works. Basically, you are going to sort with the data length minus one, which is the end of the array, and you call this function the first time around. So uh, you call it with two parameters, uh, the low and the high point. And as long as the low point is less than the high point, we have to uh, partition. And we uh, uh, partition around a pivot point, p equal to partition low over high. And then use this to sort low through p minus 1 recursively and sort p plus 1 through high recursively. And as you know, the p was the pivot point. In terms of the partitioning, it's essentially you get the uh, position at the high point, the pivot. And your place for swapping will start from the low end and you keep moving from low to low plus one, low plus two, and so on. And as long as it is greater than the pivot, or as less, in this case, it's as less than the pivot, you, you will uh, essentially swap it, and um, you increment the swap position i. In the end, since the high value is at the correct, you swap the i and the uh, uh, i and the hi, which is the final place. And I'm doing some print arrays, especially at a pivot point, so you can see what's the array before the pivot, wherever the pivot uh, value is and the pivot index is, and it prints it out so you can kind of see that. And verify is just going to verify that the array is sorted. So that's kind of the main algorithm. And let me just uh, kind of run it, run it through for example to kind of see that it comes through this way. So here you can see that the pivot index is two, uh, zero, one, two, and the value is six. That's what it is, you have shown here. So before the array, you'll have three and two, and on the other side, you'll have 25, 59, 10, and nine. And the next point is pivot index is zero, and the position is two, so this two and three will get swapped. And that's what it is basically happening here. So your two is here, and then everything else on this side is three, six, nine, 15, 10, 25. That's what you're seeing. So then the next index, pivot index is three or nine, and you can see that nine, two, three, six here, 59, 10, 25. So I would encourage you to look at this algorithm and uh, I have implemented this first portion. So you can kind of do this on your own. And thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to watch this or other videos, you can uh, go to my website, Gaurus Associates.
and you have a great day thanks